Be completely sure you trust who you're hanging out with. You have no idea how many headaches this will avoid. College Redditors, what's the one high school habit each incoming freshman needs to stop doing on their first day of college? Your life isn't over if you walk into class late. Just calmly go in and take a seat. And don't walk to the front of the room and sit down. Sit at the back and be discreet about it. Giving a damn what your peers think about you. And having opinions about your peers based on trivial things, like whether or not they wear their varsity jacket. Also stop asking random people for a piece of gum when they take it out of their bag. Get your own gum. Don't shout out snide comments during class trying to get people to laugh. We don't care if that's what she said, we just want to learn. Yes, it will be on the test. If it's not on the test, you now know an amazing new fact to wow your friends with. You definitely need to study. If you had it easy in high school, it likely will not be that way in college. Even more important than studying, is going to every class. If you go to every class, you'll have an idea of the curriculum. You'll know what material they emphasized, what pages to read. If you don't go to class, it makes studying much much harder. You'll miss material, you'll be confused, disoriented, and you won't be sure what to ask the professor. Long distance relationship with high school girlfriend or boyfriend. Spoiler alert, you guys aren't going to make it work. Don't wear those stupid lanyards with the school name around your neck. I did this and thought it was cool. Then after a couple weeks I realized, everyone can tell you're a freshman immediately. Nothing is less cool than a freshman. Also, don't travel in a group of 15, stick to a few. You look like idiots. You can't masturbate whenever you want. You have to time it according to your roommate's schedule. This annoyed me to be honest but I got through it. Now I've accidentally conditioned myself to get horny when I'm doing homework. The best time to study was also the best time to rub one out. Dorms suck. Now in an apartment hopefully that will stop the conditioning. Telling people what you got on SAT, or ACT, or AP, or what have you. No one will care. Putting your phone on vibrate is not the same as putting your phone on silent. Everyone can hear your phone buzz. Everyone can also see you texting during lecture, hiding your phone under your desk fools no one. Also no one cares if you shoot a quick text out, as long as you're not sitting in the first few rows. Putting on makeup in the middle of class. No one cares anymore. Some people just drag themselves out of bed wearing a t-shirt and sweatpants. And, as a professor, I can tell you that this behavior is rude. Most of us will ask you to do this on your own time. Do not wear your letterman jacket. Do not bring up your standing, awards, honors, achievements, unless you are asked. I hate it when I was in history and heard, in HS I was in AP classes and I thought blah blah blah, if you know the answer don't showboat your past. No more raw dogging it, wear a condom. College campuses are STD infested. Good God. I know way too many people who got STDs. It's almost expected. Also get tested once a year even if you haven't been sexually active in said year. This is important for two reasons, one there are a few STDs that you can get without having sex, and two, your last test could have been a false negative. Make sure you are getting full STD, STI, and that it includes HIV testing. I can't believe the number of people who don't do this. Edit, I probably wasn't as clear as I should have been. Get tested once a year if you haven't been sexually active. However if you have multiple sexual partners, get tested more frequently. Also encourage your partners to get tested. If you're dating someone who refuses to get tested, or won't prove to you they are clean, get out of that relationship. <laughs> Professor here. 1. Don't plagiarize. We'll catch you. If we do, fess up. The first several times, the student said, I don't know how that happened. Remember that uncommon knowledge should be cited. 2. If the professor asks you to come in for help, do it. We can't help you if you don't. 3. 
I can't tell you how many smart kids have dropped out. If you get so behind that you feel overwhelmed, talk to someone, anyone, and everyone until you get back on track. You may need professional help. 4. Get involved. The more connected you are, the better you'll do. 5. Live on campus if you can. Why? See number 4. 6. You'll get some great profs and some crappy ones. No matter what school you go to. If all of them are great, let me know and I'll put my application in. I'm not being egotistical. I just don't like having uncomfortable conversations with students about their bad profs. Also, who one student feels is awful may end up being your favorite. 7. Take advantage of electives. Try something you may never get to try again. Maybe not a habit, but a lesson. And I'm sorry if this is a bit negative or heartbreaking. There will be classes that, no matter how hard you try, you will be terrible with. I enrolled as an aerospace major because I wanted to change the world, despite being more of a history and English person. I, by some miracle, passed my second calculus class with a D. I had absolutely no hope with my third calculus class, I had a tutor, I went to study sessions, I went to office hours, I was housed with engineers. But at that point, nothing could teach me how to get from point A to point B it was basically magic, with some loose logic here and there. I failed that class, despite all my effort. I'm not saying that you will also fail, but that there will be classes that will be nearly impossible to ace. It's very difficult to get all-round A's. But maybe that's just my engineering school. Here the engineering average GPA is just over 2.0 I believe. And, no exaggeration, the average math test score is 50% or below, so curving is completely necessary. 1. Be ready to change your major if you need to. What you actually do in a given field of study is often radically different than what you'd imagine. Had a friend go into physics, spent the last two years of his degree programming simulations. Switch early enough and you won't have too many headaches. 2. You can sneak into other classes. No one is going to stop or even notice you. Do this a lot, and you'll eventually be able to talk about just about anything. 3. Use the library. Steal from databases. Outside of college, knowledge is expensive and libraries are sorely underfunded. 4. Most clubs are kind of a. Attend anyway. Catch a couple club members outside of the meetings, get a couple drinks in them, and you'll probably get something closer to what you were looking for. 5. Even if you're living off your folks, if you can swing a part-time job, get one. Having a bit of scratch makes having a social life a lot easier, and it's going to stay that way after you graduate, regardless of how cozy you are. Having a social life makes having an intellectual or professional life a lot easier, too. The right friends can do wonders for your academic performance. Making up excuses to a professor if you miss the due date for an assignment. It isn't that they aren't listening, it's that they simply will not care. One time, I was late to a final for my sociology class. Like, half a day late. My professor was a hard ass about timing and schedules. Even if you showed up 10 minutes late to lecture, he wouldn't let you in the room. I told him I legitimately messed up times, and had thought the test was 5 hours later than it actually was. He let me take it, but he took 20 points off the top. Turns out your parents were right, telling the truth works way better. Here's a few to start you off right. Don't bother sucking up to the professors. While in high school nobody liked teacher's pets, being one could legitimately give you an advantage. In college you are one out of thousands of students that your professor sees daily. If you become the classic suck-up, you're probably not going to be well-liked by your classmates, and the professor will just see you as one out of many students, or worst-case scenario, as a bothersome prick. Don't be afraid of asking your professor anything you don't understand. While they're held to a much higher standard than your normal teachers, they're still human. That doesn't mean you should interrupt him in the middle of a lecture. What I'm saying is that there's nothing wrong going to the professor after class to clear up your doubts. Expect failure. 
It doesn't matter if you're smart or even a genius, you're going to a whole different environment. It really is a whole new world you're entering and getting used to it can be tough for some. The world won't end if you get AC on your first test, so chill. For the love of Godzilla, do not call them anything other than professor. Don't call them mister, don't call them teach, or anything of the sort. One last thing, if you're doing any sort of illegal activity, trust no one. I'm not kidding here. Some people will gladly rat you out. Maybe they're prudes that are jealous of you, or maybe they're against what you're doing. Be completely sure you trust who you're hanging out with. You have no idea how many headaches this will avoid. Like and subscribe, for more funny, interesting, and scary r slash ask reddit videos.